everyone, it's me, QP83, and I have a quick little video here for you. Um, so what I'm gonna talk, talk to you today about is Serial Experiments Lane. Um, so that was one of the first animes that I really like got into, and then I called one of my favorites, because for the longest time I, I just, I'd seen a bunch of badly dubbed animes, and it always bothered me that like, the voices didn't match up with the lips and all these things, because they were just really badly dubbed things. Um, but then I got into anime a little bit, and this I saw this thing called Serial Experiments Lane uh, in one of our stores, like an FYE or something. And, uh, you know, I thought it looked pretty cool and interesting, and so I watched it, because it was 13 episodes. And it is, like, a really cool, like... I don't even know how to explain it, to be honest. It's a weird, psychological, metaphysical sort of <laughs> anime that it just makes no sense if you try to explain it to someone. Um, so you should just watch it. That's basically it. But because I liked that, I started looking for merchandise that had to do with, with Lane. And uh, bear in mind, this was like 1998-ish, somewhere around there, so the late 90s. Uh, and the anime market was very different than what it had been previously. Uh, and it was very different than what it is now because there was a huge boom in like the 90s for for anime and and things of that nature plus into the early 2000s um, but this was kind of one of those more obscure animes that somehow made it like unscathed to the US market uh, and we we got some products for it which was really cool so what I'm going to talk to you today about are the Toynami Pioneer action dolls that were released for Serial Experiments Lane now when I looked these up I was really surprised because the prices they're going for on eBay uh, and like Mercari and stuff are crazy. <laughs> uh, which is good I guess, but um, I was just really surprised. So this is the first figure uh, that I'm going to be talking about. This is Lane, the main character of the anime, in her schoolgirl outfit. She has a backpack. She came with a laptop too, which I know is floating around somewhere, but I don't have the laptop. I didn't expect these to be going for like $400 on eBay, so <laughs> forgive me if some of the accessories are not here. <laughs> uh, you will see that Lane has molded hair because it would be really hard to recreate her haircut and have it look good on a doll if it were rooted. So they, they made a smart choice of keeping her entirely made of um, this vinyl. But what the cool thing about this series is the Toinami Pioneer series of, of action dolls um, is that they're highly, highly articulated. There's 20 points of articulation on these dolls. So their head will turn, they have a joint in their torso, shoulders, elbows, some came with different hands, knees, they're double jointed, they have ankle joints. So there's a lot of articulation that you'll find in this, this one little doll or figure, or whatever you want to call her. I consider her a doll. Uh, so all of these that you're going to see were limited to 3,000 pieces each, which might be why people are trying to sell them for crazy amounts of money, but they were all limited to 3,000. Uh, and they sold originally for like 16 to $25 a piece, uh, which in hindsight, I'm like, well, I should have picked up the whole set when I saw them, but I don't even think I saw all of them, to be honest. The schoolgirl uh, outfit was one of the first ones to come out, so that was uh, out around like June of 2002. So it's been a while, because um, as I said, this is a bit of an older anime. But I really love this, this particular doll, and I love the sculpt of the face. The body and the face are the same for all the dolls, and basically they just changed the outfit for each of them. So this is Schoolgirl Lane. You'll see she has her gray blazer, she has her white shirt under there, her uh, little skirt here. Her hair, as I said, is molded, but it looks really good. And she has just a really good face, like it looks like Lane does in the anime. She also has her school shoes and her school socks. The thing with her, and you'll see this in some other dolls, is her face has lightened a little bit compared to her body. Her body is still nice and like peachy, but her face has kind of gone to like a more yellow tone. But it happens. So this is the second one I want to talk to you about. 
uh, she has like this uh, jet teddy bear suit. She lounges in it. It's kind of like pajamas. Uh, it's super adorable and I always wanted to cosplay as it. <laughs> so one day. Or maybe I'll just have a little mini me cosplay as, as Lane in her bear suit one day. <laughs> Which I think I might have to do because it would be adorable. Uh, so this is Lane in her bear suit. This came out July of 2002. You see this a lot in the anime. Um, so if you've never seen it, you're probably like, what is she wearing? But trust me, it, it you, you see it in the anime. Uh, again, it's same body, same thing with the head. The head is yellow and the body is still a nice little peachy color. Um, she, I don't think, came with any other accessories. She does come with slippers, which I know I have somewhere because they don't stay on very well. Um, but you can see kind of how her feet are articulated. So there's a gap between like her leg and her ankle, but that is for the articulation of, of the toe so she can point her feet. We again have hands, same articulation for all of these guys. You can see a little bit more of the hair detail with this one. You'll see it's kind of shaggy in the back. Uh, but also the nice thing about them is they're not sticky or anything. Sometimes these dolls can just be a little sticky. Yeah, but this is Lane in her bear outfit. This is the third of the five uh, that were released. I only own three, sadly. Uh, so this is DJ Lane. DJ Lane is super cool. Uh, she has a very different vibe from the first two dolls you've seen. She came out in 2006, according to the website I found. So later than the other dolls, which might be why her body is aging so differently. <laughs> her head is a nice little tan color her arms up to her hands and her legs up to her feet are like yellow. They've basically yellowed really badly, <laughs> uh, which you can see here. There's a clear difference between her arm and her hands right there. Uh, same goes with the, the feet under the loafers. But she's in a cool little orange crop top with uh, some cargo pants. She has headphones. She also came with a keyboard because she is a DJ. Uh, and she has bear hat, which I do also have but these guys were all in a case that we cleared out of the room that the baby and the dolls are currently residing in, residing in. So I think that went in with the box of all the stuff that was in that curio case. Uh, but DJ Lane is quite cool. She has all the same points of articulation. Uh, there's a difference with how they painted her hair as well. So she has more lighter tones at the top of her head. Uh, and then it kind of goes into the darker tones that you see on the earlier lanes you'll see this is a, a dark brown and then it goes into the or this is a light brown and then it goes into the darker brown and you'll see that on the bangs as well so there are two more dolls in this line uh, there's a guitar lane she comes with a really cool guitar I do kind of wish I had that one um, but she wears a blue jacket and a black dress kind of like you know little poetry club music night sort of thing um, but she has a really cool guitar. And then there's Urban Wear Lane, uh, which is basically her in this like black ensemble with a long black skirt and like a purple hoodie sort of thing going on. That's also a 2006, uh, 2006 style. I don't have a date on the guitar one. Oh no, somewhere in 2006. So yeah, the, the two I'm missing all came out when she came out. Uh, there's not a ton more to say about these guys, honestly, other than the fact that they are just super cool, they're super poseable, uh, and if you are a fan of the anime, I highly recommend keeping your eyes out just to find a cheap one, because you never know, these guys could very easily end up at Savers or Goodwill, and they'd have no, like, if, if someone watches anime <laughs> or has stumbled upon serial experiments lane before they'd know what they were but there's also a good chance someone would be like what in the world are these and let's price them cheap so they go <laughs> so uh, keep your eyes out they are really really cool figures and I'm quite happy to have them in my collection uh, my lane collection is not very big unfortunately because we didn't get a lot of stock we you know the anime conventions didn't get a ton of, of uh, exports or imports from from Japan about Lane specifically but thankfully I do have an art book I don't think I have a pencil board I have lots of wall scrolls but these are 
by far the coolest of the uh, Serial Experiments Lane products I was able to collect. And I'm still on the lookout for the other two that I don't own, <laughs> but I'm not paying the crazy prices that eBay wants for them. So I'm just gonna, you know, bide my time and wait until one shows up in front of me. <laughs> so let me know if you are a fan, if you have watched this before, or you know, like just in general what you think of these in the comments, and I will talk to you later. Bye!